Hello, my name is Corey Blickenstaff. I'm a physical therapist in Vancouver, Washington. I'd like to show you a group of arm exercises or arm movements that I've come up with and found to be helpful. So we're going to go through a series of positions. First position is going to be elbow straight, palm facing downward. Okay, and the first movement you're going to do is you're going to extend your wrist while you extend your fingers. And what you're trying to accomplish here is extending your fingers while not allowing your palm to do its automatic movement of going forward. That's what it's naturally going to want to do. You're trying to limit that from happening. Okay, next one is palm down, wrist curled, fingers curled. Now this time as you curl your fingers, there's going to be a tendency for your hand to want to pop up and down and you're trying to limit that. Now the reason this is helpful is for a couple of reasons. For one, it introduces a novel movement. This is not a movement that most people's bodies do naturally. It's normal for your hand to pop up. That's not a bad thing. It's normal. But uh, by limiting it, we create a situation where this is a novel movement. Next is uh, elbow straight, palm up, wrist extended, and extending your fingers without letting your palm go forward. Novel movements are important, especially in painful situations, because they provide a window of opportunity for our body to form a new opinion about a movement, hopefully an opinion that is not a painful one. Okay, now, elbow straight, palm up, curl the wrist, and then curl the fingers. Now you notice there how my elbow wants to flex a little bit. This is one of the movements that you're trying to control against. It'll be real common for people to, as they do this, have all kinds of movements going. So this is real control based. Okay, next is elbow bent, palm facing you. Extend the wrist. Extend the finger, still controlling the same thing with the palm. I keep my hand here to help me control it, but it's not really, I'm not holding it here, it's more for cueing. And the other thing this does is since this is a not a typical movement that we usually do, is that it's a chance to increase our movement repertoire. Now palm facing you, elbow bent, wrist bent, curl the fingers. And I would argue that both introducing novel movements and increasing movement repertoire are helpful things, both for healthy, healthy movement and getting out of pain. Okay, next is going to be elbow bent, palm facing away from you, wrist extended, extend the fingers. Don't let that palm pop up and down. It's kind of difficult. These are fairly easy, or these are fairly simple movements, but they're not necessarily easy. It takes a lot of control. Next, elbow bent, palm facing away from you, wrist curled, curl the fingers. These movements are useful also as a uh, warm-up before activity, especially if you are a desk worker or a someone who uses your hands a lot. Okay. And that's it. So I hope you find that useful. Um, again, slow controlled movements, working on novelty and increasing movement repertoire. I hope you find it helpful.